of shot fired to the rear of 901 Cherry Avenue. We're receiving numerous 911. So far, nothing seen, just heard only. We have uh, one RP stating that people are running out of the business. Sounds like it's coming from YouTube. Another party says they spotted someone with a gun. Suspect came from the back patio. Address is 901 Cherry Avenue, cross of Bay Hill, off of 380. Again, we have a report of subject with a gun. They heard seven to eight shots being fired. This will be from the YouTube building, 901 Cherry Avenue, cross of Bay Hill. Is there a sergeant on duty at copies? S5 copies was at S2 also. Whoa. The PD is 1097 going into the building. No further. One female down. Exit email. Describes one of the shooters supposedly going to have a second. <laughs> White male. We have one person confirmed down at the top of the main entrance. We have two. The main entrance. The top of the stairs to the left. The one person we have down and uh, saying that's our shooter. Since we've been on scene, we've had no active shots fired, and it's here to stabilize right now. We are an incredibly tight knit um, uh, community uh, within YouTube, where it feels like a family. Today, it feels like the entire uh, community of YouTube and, and all of the employees uh, uh, were victims of this crime. Breaking news from California. The active shooter emergency at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, one of Silicon Valley's most high-profile companies. Police cars responding to 911 calls from inside. Neighboring buildings outside also put on lockdown. Multiple agencies responding to the scene. Heavily armed SWAT teams going in. Agents securing the scene, allowing people to come out, but with their hands in the air. And tonight we know the shooter was a woman. She's now dead and four others are injured. Shots fired during the lunch hour at the Video Colossus YouTube. The upturned chairs, the bullet casings, and the police emergency calls. Active shooter at 901 Cherry. Now tragically familiar, but not this, a female suspect. So confirming she is the suspect? Okay, and that's what we were told. We did locate a victim with a, with a uh, what we believe to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's a female. Uh, but the investigation is still ongoing. Law enforcement sources say the shooting appears to be the result of a domestic situation and that the suspect is 35 to 40 years old and has no apparent connection to YouTube. This is crazy. We're on lockdown. The first call came in at 1246 local time. Two minutes later, police arrive. They're in formation as they move up that staircase. Inside YouTube, employees witnessing the violence. One product manager writing on Twitter, I looked down and saw drips of blood on the floor and stairs. Upon arrival, officers encountered numerous employees fleeing from the building. Uh, it was very chaotic, as you can imagine. Police moving forward, finding hundreds of YouTube employees, their hands raised. SWAT teams advancing, clearing the building, and searching employees. We are clearing the building and searching the building in a slow, methodical manner. Victims taking refuge in a local bar. They said, yes, it was a shooting, so I told them to come inside for safety and there was three of them actually one was bleeding in the face one was shot in the foot inside the call is junior in san bruno medical aid this man tended to one of the wounded at a nearby business it's a gunshot wound uh so i put like a tourniquet on her to try to help her the ambulance came and then uh, they took her away put a real tourniquet on her hospitals and police reporting at least four victims have been hospitalized and Matt Gutman joins us now. What do we know about the victim's condition right now? Tom, three people remain hospitalized tonight at San Francisco General. One of them is a man in critical condition. The other two are women, one of them in serious condition. Now, law enforcement sources tell us that terrorism was likely not the cause here, rather an interpersonal relationship gone very bad. They say that that female shooter died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Tom. Upon arrival, officers encountered numerous employees fleeing from the building. Uh, it was very chaotic, as you can imagine. Uh, we did encounter one victim with an apparent gunshot wound uh, towards the front of the business as we arrived. 
Uh, several minutes later, while conducting a search of the premises, uh, officers located a second uh, individual with a gunshot wound that appears to uh, may have been self-inflicted. We are still working on confirming that. Um, two additional victims were uh, located uh, several minutes later uh, at an adjacent business. Um, the extent of all of the injuries of our victims um, are, are unknown right now. They were all transported for emergency medical care, uh, but they are all unknown. So if I miss that, we uh, we have four victims uh, who have all been transported for, uh, for gunshot-related injuries, and we have one subject uh, who's uh, deceased inside the uh, building uh, with a self-inflicted wound that at this time uh, we believe to be the shooter, but we're still following up on that. Um, uh, multiple law enforcement agencies have responded to assist. We're very grateful for everyone's help and assistance, but we could not have responded and accomplished this without everybody's help. Uh, this is an active event and an active investigation, and uh, numerous uh, uh, law enforcement personnel from numerous different local agencies are still conducting a search of the business just to make sure that, uh, that it is clear. We conducted a, uh, a quick, immediate uh, uh, search of the premises um, when the first officers arrived as pursuant to our active shooter protocol. And after that search was concluded, now we're going through with a methodical, slow search just to make sure that we cover all the bases. Uh, that's all I have for you at this time. Uh, we hope to have something uh, a little later. I cannot give you, I'm sorry, excuse me, I cannot give you uh, the time of the next press update, but we'll put that out as soon as we have that information. Yeah,